So I'm playing on insanity difficulty. We are approaching drop point two. I might drop it down if it gets to the point where it's like I've been at this section for seven deaths. But you know, it's ship perimeter secure. It's usually better if um look at that fancy UI. What have we got? Man. We've got Lancer one. Anyway, um, yes, so I will be uh, playing on Insanity because it's like, what's the, uh, that's the wrong way, isn't it? I'll be playing on Insanity because it's, it's sort of like, what's the point of playing uh, on the lower difficulty? I mean, if you like playing on the lower difficulty, that's fine. I don't mean to dissuade you. You can play on whatever difficulty you like. But for me personally, it's like, what's the point of playing on, on the easiest when everybody dies in, in one or two hits? And then there's just no point to getting upgrades or anything. But that's just me. I actually really like that coloration of the hair and the lips. I know it sort of makes my character look like a freak, but I also really like the coloration differences. Shooting is so much better. That is incredible. <laughs> Compared to the, the first game, holy shit. He died super hard. Rip right through his shields. We're out of chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. Well, he's dead. Jenkins just ran right in there and, and died. Okay. Smells like smoke and death. It sure does. So I need to check what the, the quick is. F5? F5 is quick save. That's good. Usually I prefer F6 and F9 to the uh, quick save buttons. This is what I'm used to, I think. A number of, a number of games. Some soon. games have F5 and F6, and you know that makes sense in a sense. I'll try to catch up with you. Don't to shoot these, they don't give you any experience. But yes, uh, shooting is a lot better on this one now compared to where it used to be. That's for sure. Um, it does kind of remove some of the RPG elements, like you know, making your sniper rifle. Unless you've trained in, in snap rifles and, and such. So I don't know if they've changed some of the skills. Maybe they, um, instead of accuracy, they just added like 10% damage. Wow, the Geth looks so cool. They look so shiny. I do like battle damage on things, like scars and chips. Or on armour. As opposed to just the, the completely clean look. No idea how that scope actually works because it, it just goes straight down into the gun which doesn't make uh, doesn't make a great deal of sense. Wow that snap back was so accurate. Are you... That's crazy. It used to be... Well, it used to sway over everything. Thanks, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one who charged your ma'am? Are you so, wounded, Williams? yeah, I don't like Ashley at all. Um, usually I just completely lucky. ignore her for the entire game. But with this character, I'll be, uh, I'll be trying to be we best try friends with her because she's also a space racist. And I believe that's how racists usually work. They hang out with other racists. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon. Bit like... We walked into an ambush. I shouldn't say that. I don't think bit like other types of, of people. I think I'm the only one left. You got similar interests. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. So I don't know what I'm going to do about side quests, to be honest, because a lot of side quests are um, obviously the given to you by aliens. Just over that rise. I guess you I could accept them, and then in. Um, we could use your help, Williams. Any any side aye, aye, quest aye, that aye. I do, time for if there's a, if there's a chance to scry over somebody, that's somebody some alien, uh, we'll we'll go what with that option. But Just I don't know yet. We'll I'll think about it when I get to that, that 
They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Yeah, so that, that sky probably assault rifle doesn't really go anywhere. It sort of just That's feeds into the gun by the looks of it. I don't know much about the Beacon so unless itself, there's a but camera on the side of the gun, this could be the biggest scientific discovery of which century. could be a possibility. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Uh, nice. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was Look at how smug anyway. she is. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Oh, look, Caden doesn't have his gun. Wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. I've had, like for said, some reason, I've had a string of games where characters have just got finger guns. I was playing L.A. Noir the other day, and, um, you know, when you aim your, your gun at a character to, to arrest them, they're running away, and you've got to aim your gun. I had that happen, and uh, Cole Phelps didn't have a gun in his hand. He was just pointing his fingers at them. Uh, there was something else I was playing the other day. Uh, oh, Halo. Halo, I was playing the, the Master Chief Collection, and I had... Um, I was playing Reach, uh, the level with the, the, the sniper rifle, uh, Nightfall. Ah, thanks. Thanks for taking up my spot. Appreciate it. Uh, it's really hard not to be mean to Ashley because she's a space racist, but my character is also a space racist, so we're going to have to try not shitting on her so much this time around. The first time ever. First time since 2007. Um, speaking of which, is this really the hardest? Sorry, I, I want to make sure because uh, gameplay. Yeah, this is actually the hardest one, mate. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I know it's the starting area, so I should be. You know, too amazed, but um, anyway, yeah. So I was playing Halo Reach on on the the Nightfall level, and uh, for some reason the sniper rifle model didn't load in. Uh, health doesn't regen, so they didn't change that. I was wondering if they they would change. The was right here. It must have been moved. Change that with the the second and third game, but no, they they left it as it is, which is fine. more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky, maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. But, uh, yes, yeah, so Halo Reach, the sniper rifle model, uh, didn't have any, uh, didn't, the sniper rifle model didn't load, so I was just firing my fingers at the enemy, which was also strange. And now Caden has managed to lose his gun. Keep your guard up. Still alive. I wouldn't really call that. I really wouldn't call that alive. Uh, shotgun time. See, that's the thing. You can always use a. Uh, uh, those are shotguns. In. Yeah. You can always use the the SMG before they or the assault rifle. Those are just the assault rifle. Two. We're stick with the assault rifle. Did, to be honest, I did prefer having the um, the assault rifle heat temperature or the weapon temperature inside the reticule. That was a lot better than having it tucked away in the bottom left corner there. Uh, easy to decryption. Can we see them in there? They're not actually in there, are they? Unless it's... Oh, no, wait, there they are. Yeah. Just about to see them. Do, 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 do. So in the in the console version, you'd have to push a, a series of buttons. Humans, thank the maker. Which is a little bit weird. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Uh, you're safe. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay. I think now. I'm gonna find it out how like to turn, uh, take my helmet off. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge um, of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? 
It was moved to the space there's, at least in the, the second and third game, I think there's a way that you can have your helmets off during conversation. The Marines held them off long enough for us to you can have it forced on always, they gave off during conversation, service. or just no sort of saved. auto. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. What else can you tell me about So I do attack? really want to punch him in, but... It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers. Bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. Then it I'm sorry. could have been Manuel a different one. A bit it is. We haven't <laughs> That's seen one of the most annoying things. You know, could, uh, you know there's more than one Turian, right? Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Okay, cool. You're wasting your time. The age of humanity is over. Manuel, Our... I need to ask you something. It's probably best if you just leave him alone. Okay. I don't have time for this. Time? Our time is over. Yeah, so we're just gonna uh, leave him standing. Usually I'd knock him out, but for the sake of this run through, uh, I shan't. Anyway, let's let us move on. Oh shit! What was that? Do you know I pushed the quick save button just as just as as the, the screen started to fade to black. Sarah. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got Look how many control. pipes he's got sticking into the back of his head. How do you not see that guy and go, he's clearly evil? It. As they said, it's a massive motherfucker. The other, the other few times I've seen like scenery in the distance that's interesting is, is um, Half Life Two, uh, the Citadel, just before you, or, yeah, just before you get the crowbar and you meet up with Barney, and the, uh, basically the Citadel is opening up and it's just tons and tons of scanners flying out and uh, all sorts of gunships. Uh, I do I have any powers. I've got one. Can I? I could still have to drag it. That's fine. No problem. I thought it might be able to just like just the, uh, the one uh, the number that you want to assign to. But that's fine. It's not, a, it's not an issue. Not really anyway. <laughs> Complaining about how, how lazy I am. So I've set my, my team to uh, automatically use their powers. It seems a bit pointless levelling them up. Uh, seems a bit pointless levelling up and, and not letting them 
You can't see that guy, can you? He's... I'm sort of giving away all... Moving. Over behind those sort of crates. giving away all the secrets, but I've Wait, played this game so I'm many human. times. One of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got like here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. He's got some weird Just eye animation going on. Me behind the crates. Uh, what about the beacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. Are they bullets? The beacon was trouble. They, they look like, like he's got like a belt of bullets on his left. That damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. Left arm. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Maybe, no, maybe I not. I think it's more like a strap, actually. Just a, a standard strap. I couldn't tell if it was like bullet casings. They never had a chance. But I think it's just uh, supposed to be on those. I, I was already behind I don't the crates. They're not the leather. It's like a. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates material. before the attack? I. Sometimes this I guy is a pro. I, I sneak off behind the crates. <laughs> Sleeping through your job. The supervisor can't find and not getting in trouble for it. That guy is a pro. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Uh, attack. Did we do the attack? Tell me about the Geth attack. It's quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It, it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And, and it was making this noise, this, this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. So I just want to... the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to get off the planet. Um, let's have a quick look. I just want to check. I want to see uh, graphics, uh, gameplay, and uh, which tutorial. What it says: uh, titles, power usage, leveling up, uh, gameplay, key binding, sound, calibration, graphics. No, I guess it's just the, the second game and onwards that you can um, turn your helmet on or off. Oh, that's fine. I didn't know that they might have... It's kind of a hard a hard thing to do between quality of life updates and keeping it true to the original. Which, is a, it's sometimes you really want them to make quality of life updates and then other times you wish they just left it alone. Um, so I don't envy them for... Oh, at least the cover system's improved. I mean, if the cover system really couldn't have been any worse. Uh, shit. I thought there was a way to zoom in, but I think it's uh, standard, standard magnification. That guy is massive. So there's quite, you've got to wait quite some time before, oh, it's about half, it's about 50%. But that's, that's the big guy I dealt with. Can't, I think there's a guy there. I think, I'm not going to get him like this. I'll move up and uh, see if he decides to pop out. I don't want my teammates to shoot me for. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't. Here we go. I didn't really do anything. And Ashley has decided to stand right on top of me again. 
Thanks, Ash. I do like what they've done with the the UI in the middle, or the the, the health and the shield. It's a lot a lot more uniform compared to, you know, it matches in with with two and three. This guy is just going to sit here, isn't he, until I move up? Can I tell Caden or uh, Ashley doesn't have any powers yet? Uh, overheats enemy weapons. Throw this enemy. Hopefully we can get. <laughs> no, no, we can't. Okay, no matter. We'll uh, we'll just rush in there and deal with it. Oh shit, there's more than one. Come on, you shit. Is what's the grenade button? G. Okay, they changed it from R. That's fine. But at least it got out of his uh, his hiding spot. I mean, he did just. Oh no, just, they got them. So I always found it a little bit bizarre that you got some money for killing every enemy. I know it's, a, it's a, an RPG thing. Where well, I use the snap rifle. From this range, it's the assault rifle's not too great, unfortunately. Let's see if I can bust through this shield. Uh, one more. One more Geth Trooper. He's also being a pain in the ass, unfortunately. Let's move in and let's try and get this guy. Hopefully, can I just about get him there? Nope. Come on then. I've got to which one the grenade key is now. I mean, it should be fairly easy. It's G, but going from R to G. I mean, it's it's literally one one over, so it's not too much of a stretch for my brain. So they used to um, they used to slide whenever. Thanks for watching. Maybe you'd like to click on one of these videos for more. Alternatively, you could subscribe and check out my selection of guides, comical videos, and co-op playthroughs. I recommend the Pokemon Crystal playthrough. It's very good if I do say so myself. Alternatively, you can give my brain a hit of dopamine by clicking the like button or leaving a comment. I could really use more dopamine.